around four and a half million years ago, a river began flowing across the Colorado Plateau, carving the Grand Canyon. Scientists are divided on how the river came into existence. They have two conflicting scenarios. The river either worked its way across the plateau from southwest to northeast by headward erosion, or the other way around by spillover. For scientists to apply the spillover theory to the Grand Canyon, they have to find a lake. And it is likely to be in the east where the elevation is higher. Today, there is no lake, but there are 200 feet of green layered deposits, remnants of an ancient lake called Lake Bidahochi. And so this green layer right here reflects the idea that Lake Bidahochi was in existence east of the Grand Canyon between 16 and 6 million years ago. Over 10 million years, a lake deposited fine grained sediments like silt, clay, and sand mixed with gray volcanic ash. The deposits indicate the existence of a lake, but they don't show how the lake overspilled and carved the canyon. John Douglas, geography professor at Paradise Valley Community College in Arizona, wanted an effective way to test the theory. He built a small-scale model of the Grand Canyon to demonstrate how the lake could have overflowed. Six million years ago, the canyon wasn't yet carved, but Lake Bidahochi was full to the point of overflow. And then as a lake came in, the lake filled. It filled and filled higher and higher and higher until eventually spilled across the lowest point across the Kaibab Plateau. And then water poured down the other side. Those waterfalls continued to retreat back. And the whole time, you're cutting Grand Canyon. Douglas suggests that Lake Bidahochi drained and formed a stream. The steep gradient of the riverbed caused the stream to cut deep into the rock. Over time, the size of the stream increased and more and more water poured out of the lake, which in turn cut deeper and deeper into the rock. But not all geologists agree. They say there is no evidence of there ever being a lake large enough to carve the Grand Canyon. So at present, there is still no definitive answer as to how the river came into existence. What we do know is that when it began flowing around four and a half million years ago, it cut a one-mile-deep scar in the surface. 